Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. In this tutorial you will learn more about working with the layer transparency, layer locks, layer mix modes, layer transformations, layer masks and the alpha filter and twisted brush. The layer transparency is an important layer feature for special effect. With it you can control globally how much transparency a layer has, if any. You can determine the transparency for each layer from the opacity slider in the layers panel. For example, the transparency of this layer is set to 50%. This allows for the text to be transparent. Let's hide the background layer. Notice the eye icon is closed. The areas of the image which are transparent are shown with a checkered pattern. This is an indicator that the area is transparent. If you were to save this image to an external file type that supports transparency, such as PNG, the transparent area would be recorded into the file. For file types that don't support transparency, this area will become white. Notice that layers above the background display is normal above the transparent areas. There are three lock types of the layers in Twisted Brush. They can either have no lock, alpha lock or full lock. You can switch the modes by clicking on the lock icon in the layers panel. When the lock icon is open, that means that the layer isn't locked and can be fully edited. When the lock icon is closed and with white center, this means that the layer has an alpha lock. With an alpha lock, the alpha channel or transparency is locked and cannot be changed. In this case, changes can be made only over the image data or over the filled parts of the layer, but not over the transparent areas. If the lock icon is closed and with black center, this means that the layer has a full lock. In that case, no edits can occur on this layer. A full lock on a layer is useful to prevent accidental edits to a layer. When you attempt to edit a locked layer a notice will be displayed. Click OK to dismiss it. If you really want to edit the layer, unlock it by clicking the lock icon in the layers panel or from the layer minibar pop-up menu. Note that the background layer can only either be in alpha lock or full lock modes. Layer mix modes give great creative options for digital image editing. Selecting a mix mode will change how a layer will interact with the layer below. There are many standard mix modes available and some that are only available in Twisted Brush Pro Studio. Each layer can have only one mix mode selected. Tools and filters are a primary way to transform a layer whether it is for resizing, skewing, warping, adding perspective, rotating, flipping etc. Select a filter from the filters menu. Adjust the parameters. Check the preview option to see the results. And click the apply button when you are done. The transform, the warp, the copy and paste tools are also powerful options for transforming a layer. A layer mask is a special mix mode that will filter out image data from the layer below in a non-destructive way. A layer mask works off of the luminance values in a layer. For that reason, working in grayscale is a wise choice. Also keep in mind that a layer mask has nothing to do with the other masks in Twisted Brush. Now let's create an example for a layer mask. Our target will be a layer with text. The opacity for this layer is set to 100% and the text is fully opaque. Now, let's create a new layer above. 
and let's add a black to white gradient fill. Let's set the mix mode for the new layer to layer mask. Because of the layer mask mix mode our text now has a transparency. This is a non-destructive method. It's enough to hide or delete the layer with the layer mask and the text will be fully opaque again. The alpha filter option allows applying any filter to just the alpha channel of your layer. Select the layer to which you want to apply an alpha filter. Select the alpha filter option in the layers menu. Select a filter from the different options. In this case we will select the blur more filter. Adjust the parameters. And click apply. Notice the softer edges. The advantage of using the alpha filter to soften the edges of an object on a layer is that the color data for the object is not blurred since only the alpha channel is changed.